said I've seen your picture on a hundred dollar bill What's a game of chance to you to him as one of real skill So glad to meet you, Angela Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Angelis by Elliot Smith's incredible song. Be- just beautiful in every way. Uh, I'll probably do a little bit more about my love for Elliot Smith at, toward the end of the lesson. I won't bore you with it at the beginning. If you're still with me by the end, I'll talk a little bit more about his genius. This is a tricky song. There's there's quite a few elements to it that are a little bit unusual. Elliot's style was like that, like the way he plays, the mixture of kind of proper finger style and then finger strumming. The chord grips are a little unusual, very, very beautiful, and definitely ones that you could steal to put in other contexts if you want as well. Um, I'm going to take you through it just a section at a time. I'll take you through the right hand first of all, and then go into a little bit more detail about the finger picking patterns and stuff. Generally speaking with these kind of songs, I think it's easiest to write your own tab for a song like this, to be able to digest it and then write it down. It'll really help you make sense of it. And particularly with finger style things, it can really help to know when the notes are played at the same time or whether they're played in between each other. I think that's a nice way of looking at these kind of finger style arrangements. So let's get to a close up. First of all, I'll just play you that beautiful intro section. things you're likely to notice about this song is when you go to play it it's actually a lot faster than it sounds which is kind of interesting I would definitely recommend using some of the sort of slow down software to learn to play along with his version to pick it up maybe starting around 60 70 percent would be a good starting point before that you just want to practice playing the parts really really slowly and making sure that you're getting the picks and the notes in exactly the right order so let's go through each little bit in a bit more detail so let's get into some nitty gritty. Now, first thing, if you didn't notice, we've got the capo or capo there at the fifth fret. When I describe the frets, I'm going to describe them relative to the capo. Same with the chords. So this chord, I'm going to call it an E minor, but because of the capo, it would actually be an A minor, but it's always a lot easier to just describe things relative to the capo. Same, this first chord, I'm going to call it an E minor nine. Actual sound of it is an A minor nine, but because of the capo, I'm going to be describing this as an E minor nine because it's kind of based off of this E minor sound. Same with the first finger, that's down in the second fret. I know in reality it's the seventh fret, but I'm going to call that the second fret. So first finger, second fret, thinner string, second finger, third fret on the second string, and little finger, it's important to use little finger for reasons that will become apparent later, on the fourth fret of the fourth string. Once you know the chord, it's time to examine the picking pattern in a little bit more detail. It's this. Okay, so we're starting off with the thicker string, then with the thumb, that is, and then thumb's going to play the fourth string. At the same time, second finger's going to play the thinner string. One, and bass note again on beat two. Then first finger plays the second string on the second sixteenth note. Thumb plays the uh, fourth string on the and after two. One and two E and. Really, really common pattern. One, two, three, and four. Probably worth practicing that a little bit if you're new to finger style patterns. Second half of the bar. Also a very common pattern in its own right. Thumb playing the bass note, the thicker string. Second finger plays the thinner string. First finger plays the second string. Thumb again playing on the fourth string on the and. Second finger goes down to play the thinner string again. Bass, first finger, thumb again. First finger playing the second string, thumb on the fourth string. One, and, two, E, and. 
three e and a four e and one and two e and three e and a four e and and you want to give this a good dose of practice. This is going to happen on quite a bit. This thing. If you can do what I'm doing now, of actually being able to talk while you're doing it, you know that it's pretty well under your fingers. Probably muck it up now. I'm trying to be clever. And this kind of slow practice, where you're training the muscles to do the pattern, is really, really important with this sort of finger style tune. When I'm learning a song like this, I write it down. And then I might practice this bar for five minutes, just like this, making sure that I've got it right. Because once the muscles know what to do, it's just a matter of making them go faster. But this slow repetition of a pattern over and over again, really, really crucial part of these kind of complicated finger style arrangements. If you don't do it, you're forever gonna be kind of chasing it and you want them to become kind of automated. You'll still be thinking about it for a while, but you wanna try and get it so it's feeling like you don't have to focus on it too much. So one and two e and three e and a four e and. Now we go to an A. See the pattern for the finger style is exactly the same. What's different is thumb is moving on the beat to the fifth string. One and two E and three and four E and one and two E and three E and a four E and. Okay, the chord. Now I've struggled a bit to find kind of authentic conclusion as to what uh, Elliot's playing at the way he's playing the A chord. This is the one I think he's using most of the time. So second finger is playing the second string. Uh, second fret and first finger seems to be kind of barring those two. Sometimes it looks like he's just playing an A7, but I've seen some other footage where it looks like he's playing it with the first finger, another one where he looks like he's using the, the kind of fingering I use for an A chord. So I'm not exactly sure. That's my best guess if you want to play it exactly like Elliot did for the A. So those first two chords, one and two E and three E. Ah, there is a slight difference there at the end, actually. Uh, he's doing... So, little fingers going down on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and then you're playing with the first finger the second string again. So... Okay, it's a really, really nice, very subtle thing. I didn't notice it when I first started transcribing it, but... Once I'd heard it, then it was like, oh yeah, that's definitely what's going on. So. So he's got that open string. Now at that point, everything's off except little finger. First finger's gonna go down the second fret of the uh, fifth string. And second finger is gonna go down in the third fret of the second string. It's a kind of a, a minor chord, a B minor. I guess with this lovely little kind of flat five tension thing going on, uh, sharp five tension. That sound, anyway, it's lovely. So what's happened is the first and second fingers have moved down now to play the second and third strings. The, the actual pattern is still the same. Bass, thumb, it's gonna be on the fourth uh, string and now second fingers playing the second string. Thumb, one, thumb. Oh, that's such a lovely dissonance. Elliot was a true genius. One, and two, E, and. Then lift off your first finger. One, E, and, up, two, E, and. Sorry, I counted the wrong thing there. Three, E, and, up, four, E, and. Three, E, and, up, four, E, and. Then first finger's gonna go down in the third fret, so second finger will stay now. Uh, similar sort of thing going on. One and two E and a three E and 
a, four, e, and a. We end up with this little cycle. Thumb, first finger playing the third string, thumb playing the fourth string, second finger playing the second string. Thumb, one, thumb, two. So that, that fourth bar, one, and two, e, and a, three, e, and a, four, e, and a. One, whole pattern repeats you can see second finger stays where it is and you're swapping those fingers around back to that E minor and I at the beginning let me play that whole section the four bar set bit for you three four one and two E and three E and up four E and one and two E and three Doesn't matter, <laughs> he says. I can even talk completely the wrong thing and manage to keep playing it roughly, right? Very last time on the fourth beat, well last time, the last beat of the second time through, we're going to play the thinner string, thumb, second finger playing the thinner string, and then the open D string, so uh, played the last, last note wrong, sorry. Uh, And then we're going to this new section. It's a little bit tricky again. There's even more. You thought the trickiness was over? I'm really sorry. Um, that goes. This one's a tricky one. There's some interesting stuff going on. Starting off with an F sharp bar chord. So two frets above the capo. Now, this is where it gets a bit weird. So he's playing bass note on the thicker string. Thumb is playing the fourth string while playing the thinnest string with the second finger. Then thumb, first finger plays the third string and then this thumb plays what should be the root note, but I think he plays the open D string there when I've done a careful transcription. So it's just kind of where he's transitioning chords. So depends on how fussy you want to be. I always try and play the F sharp still. That. Probably actually. <laughs> now I can't undo trying to play that, but it depends on how far your Eli Elliot Smith geekery you want to take it, whether you want to play that open note or not, because it's kind of not in the. It's not a, the right note, but it's there and it sounds great. So then to an A. That same little pattern we had before. Together with the second finger, thumb playing the fifth string. First finger, thumb. Second finger, thumb, one, thumb. That's the reason it's so important to practice these little figures. Because if you know that figure, which we've learned 
earlier, then it makes this section a lot easier if you get the chord right, Justin. Uh, then we go to a G chord. Okay, same pattern again. Thumb, thumb moves over to the fourth string while the sec uh, second finger plays thin string. And then we're gonna play thumb, first finger, thumb. Now same thing, the D, <laughs> again it's a little bit muffled on the, on the original recording, I, I've got written down, so thumb, thumb and second finger together then thumb, first, thumb, probably second, but it's at that point is where he's kind of transitioning to the strumming part. So it's a little bit, he's moving into this idea of playing the bass notes with his thumb and strumming with the first finger. Very kind of Elliot Smith thing to do. It sounds amazing this, the way he transitions here. Um, so A, G, D, E. So it's just gone to a regular E chord. You've got thumb down with the first finger, thumb up, down, up. So thumb down with the first finger, thumb up, down, up with the first finger. Again, that would be, if you want to get into this song, that's a pattern you really need to get down. So thumb down, thumb up, down, up, thumb down, thumb up, down, up. One and two E and a three and four E and a then it's so bass down up sorry for the E major I somehow played an E minor there it was a bit silly and then we separate second and third fingers now this is kind of a a D with an F sharp bass I guess but we've got the open thinner strings are ringing out as well so. 2nd fret, muted A string, open, 2nd, open, open. Then we have this, it's kind of a difficult figure I think, it goes to a G. So we have bass note. And then we've got this bass note on the D, so G, down, up. Then the D, bass note, strum, A, Strum. So let's move to an A chord and we play the bass note and then a strum with the first finger. One and one and a two and three and four and one and a two and three and four and one and a two and three and four. One of the hardest, that little section took me ages. Maybe you'll get it straight away, but I found that just awkward. I think it's having nothing on the beat too. And then the bass note. It sounds great in context to have this. And now it's almost the same figure. So it's this one and a two and now this is second finger sliding from the second fret to the fourth fret on the fourth string playing that with the thumb then playing the open G string and then sliding the second finger back uh, now I've been playing for ages, but I've just noticed in my own tab, it's that slide back, open A string, going to our B minor. Hmm, I can't remember which one it is. I've written down the open fifth string. 
but that's okay. I'm pretty sure Elliot wouldn't mind which one of those things we did. And he did it lots of different ways too. So you can call it, I think it's that. Open A string to the B minor. So now he usually plays like a regular B minor there as opposed to one of those, one of these fancy ones. Sometimes with the thinner string ringing open though. Uh, it's that same pattern though, just sometimes put in extra strums as did Elliot. Bass note, down, up. And then this is on the and after two. One and a two and a. I think it's actually that down, up, open D string to G. And at this point it gets a little bit looser, but it's, it's kind of like that fourth bar that we had in this second section. He does little variations, open A string, second fret, fingers sometimes the same fingers it all gets a little bit murky uh, that little section because it's looser but in a in a beautiful kind of a way let me play through that section uh, see if I can do it slowly it's going to be a little bit challenging but from the F sharp A G D E the climb A, G, B minor, A, G, now that's the intro through. The rest of the song is still those sections now, there's one other little bit which I'll take you through, but the verses are the same things that he's playing here at the beginning. But he does the little finger strumming. Bass down, bass up, down, up, bass down. Actually, that other bass note's not there. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. As a pattern. But again, it moves around a lot. It's Elliot Smith, man. It's, it's, it's going to move. Just get used to that bass note of the chord and then some strumming with the first finger. Then we have that. Someone's always coming around here, drilling some new kill. Said I've seen your picture on a hundred dollar bill. It's a game of chance to you to him as one Real skill, so glad to meet you and to love So you can see it's the same chords, the same sequence, but it's a lot looser with this strumming. It's beautiful and it's... I'll be honest, it's taken me quite a lot of practice to get to this song. I really hold Elliot Smith as a, he's an important dude and really so beautiful that I've been a bit reluctant to work on his music because I want to get it as right and do my best on it as I can. But it's, it's tricky to really try and nail it. And I think maybe it's not that important to really nail it. If you put yourself into it and you enjoy playing the song, I think I suffer from some pretty severe pedantic behavior when it comes to learning these songs about getting the exactly the right notes and the accidental open strings played where they should be and that kind of thing. Um, I don't think that that's important if you're just learning the song because you love it. Um, I suspect that there are many, many Elliot Smith fans out there that will be as geeky about it as me and that's cool and that's I want to make this as good as I can for those people that want to get that deep into it. but. If you're a kind of a casual fan and you just like the song and you want to learn a new fingerstyle tune, I would not be afraid to simplify some of the sections and simplify the patterns and iron out any particular little bits that are causing you problems to be able to play the song.
you know you might end up doing it your own way and that's totally all right as well um you know it's supposed to be out we're all supposed to to see things a little bit different and approach stuff like that so i just wanted to kind of dispel some of the the worry about it being too perfect because i don't think that's what it's about even though that's how i approach it which is sometimes silly sorry for my ramblings anyway that is actually most of the song there there's just one other section to to deal with which is the bridge otherwise you've got that intro section that finger style part uh, let me go through the bridge and then i'll talk a little bit more about other stuff so the bridge is a f sharp bar chord still that with the same thing with the bass note and then strumming with the first finger so f sharp now as far as i can tell and this is one of those weird i don't i'm not 100 percent certain i've unlocked the full puzzle here it's an f sharp chord and then it's going to a g sharp bass and i think the only way that i can calculate that he's done it from my detective work watching live videos listening all of that is that he's playing that f sharp and then just moving his third finger over to that to the uh, fourth fret of the thicker string muting the fifth string i think that's the only way you can get to that chord a just a regular a with the bar and then a c sharp major chord if it's not that relative to the capo again so four frets above yeah, I'm pretty sure that has to be the chord that he's played there. Then back to F sharp, A, G, D, E. That's the. So, I mean, that's, that little bridge is a little bit different to all of the rest, but it's very short. It's relatively simple. The hardest part is getting that second, uh, the third finger to shift over while the rest of the hand is not doing that is just a little bit odd, but it's not that difficult. Not compared to the complexity of the other finger style parts in the song. Um, I touched on this earlier in the video, but the repetition of the finger style patterns is really, really important. If you're gonna learn a song like this, especially if you wanna sing it, you've gotta train up those finger style patterns so you don't have to think about them too much. There's a, a certain degree of concentration, or I think that we actually, we can't concentrate on more than one thing at one time. So it's this very fast movement of attention from the voice to the chords to the finger style pattern or whatever. Um, if you can't sing it and play it, separately putting them together is going to be really difficult so uh, i would recommend first of all getting your guitar parts down and making sure you can do that then practice singing along with the original recording okay Play, singing it with the original recording don't just jump on to trying to sing it and play it at the same time practice singing it with the original recording making sure that you've got the pitching right that you know the phrasing that you see not see that you feel the rhythm of the melody and so that that makes sense because there are some pretty tricky bits of phrasing in the song. Um, the main part, the... Someone's always coming around here, some new kill. It's not too bad. Said I've seen your picture on a hundred dollar bill. What's the game of chance to you to him is one? That bit, that of real skill, I found that incredibly difficult to get the vocal to sit with the guitar. I could do the guitar part, I could do the vocal part, but making that sit together felt really odd. And it was only through singing along with the original recording a bunch of times and then trying to play and sing along with the original recording that I could manage to feel that connection. So, and again, it's about practicing the, the, the bit that you find really difficult. If that's the, the struggle and the rest isn't, then try and separate just that little bit and maybe loop it around and around so you're getting used to practice it. Um, I'm not sure what else to help you out with, with this song. I, I suppose I can do my little Elliot rant now for those of you that are still with us. Appreciate your support, by the way, if you've managed to stick this all of the way through the video, you're probably an Elliot Smith fan anyway, and you don't need, uh, there's no point preaching that to the converted already, but Man, Elliot Smith's music, if you're not, if you haven't done a deep dive in it, just 
plunge in because there's some beautiful, beautiful music there. He really is at the same place as like Neil Young and Bob Dylan and the Beatles or whatever. He's a, a great, great songwriter. Beautiful craftsmanship of the songs and really interesting harmony and an incredibly good guitar player. Incredibly good. He does a lot of things that are very, very difficult and they don't really sound it. To the casual listener, they wouldn't really appreciate the difficulty of what he's doing. And yeah, the whole personality thing is just amazing. There's a great version of this song where he screws it up live and, and starts playing and then just stops and goes, well, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> you know, and you just, you can really feel he's, it, it's kind of, that almost makes the genius more that he behaves that way. I don't know why that is. That's another question I'll have to think about more for another day. But anyway, look, I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will be doing plenty more Elliot Smith as well. I'm going to do some live transcribing of his stuff as well. So you can watch me learning his stuff for the first time. Obviously, as a big fan, I'm very familiar with what it sounds like. But with Elliot, it's not just about that. It's trying to figure out the unusual fingerings, different tunings, capo positions, all that. There's lots of stuff going on and, you know, weird fingerings for chords and it makes it real challenging. I really enjoy it. It's, it's proper uh, detective work uh, that happens when I'm learning Elliot Smith songs. Um, I really hope you enjoy this one and all of the rest i got coming up. Really appreciate you hitting that subscribe and like buttons if you're digging it, what I'm doing, and I'll see you for plenty more very soon. You'll take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.